Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello and welcome to today's show. My name is Tim Dimmick and your host for today here on Business Innovators Radio. Today we're speaking with Andy Curry, publisher of Seven Falls Publishing, located in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's come to our attention that Seven Falls Publishing is releasing a series of books over time where many of these books are focused on a unique purpose. Seven Falls Publishing is donating the retail sales of select published books to charity. So when we discovered this, we wanted to interview Andy Curry and learn more about the project and help him get his word out. So with that said, Andy, welcome to the program today. Tim, thanks for having me. This is this is an unexpected surprise. Thank you. You're quite welcome. You know, Andy, when I first heard that Seven Falls Publishing was donating the retail profits of your book sales to charity, I certainly wanted to know more about it because it's certainly unusual. You don't hear of this every day, actually hardly ever. So before we talk about the project, first tell me a little bit about the company Seven Falls, Seven Falls Publishing. Well, sure, Tim. And again, thank you. And by the way, we appreciate you doing a feature on us to help us with this project. This, that's really going to be helpful. Let's see. We, we've been online and publishing since 2004, where we started out with how-to books and horse training, and, and we've evolved into publishing specialty books. And currently, we're publishing Chiropractic Revolution, which is a specialty book also. And we expect it to publish around early summer, hoping there won't be any um, hurdles that we have to overcome that would delay the project. And we're also publishing a book series called Now What? And it's a book series that focuses on different life challenges and offers tips for ministry experts. So, for example... Not long ago, we published Now What? America's Top Criminal Lawyers Reveal Their Number One Tips for Families Facing a Legal Crisis. And there's another one in the works called Now What? Top Divorce Lawyers Reveal Their Number One Tips for Couples Calling It Quits. And we have more Now What? book projects on the table, but that kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing. Great. I understand that. So really your Now What? series is somewhat like – the dummy book series, you know, dummies for, you know, learning computers, dummies for this, dummies for that. Is that, is that correct? Yes, it's, it's kind of along those lines. It's very much like that. Great. So who is it that you're reaching out to to help with these projects? Well, again, um, on some of the select book projects, we are helping charity. and In fact, we're starting up with St. Jude. But as, as far as who we're helping – if we're looking at, say, the Now What book, America's Top Criminal Lawyers Reveal Their Number One Tips, this is actually a way to help families who suddenly face are faced with a legal crisis and they're like, they don't know what to do. Because if, if, if that's ever happened to you, all of a sudden it's, it's just very frightening because you don't know what to do and, and to talk to a lawyer can be very expensive. So what right. we've done is talk to a bunch of lawyers and uh, got all kinds of tips on things like murder, sex crimes, identity theft, stealing, that kind of thing. So that's who we're helping there in like our book, Chiropractic Revolution. That's a book that will help people – who are considering chiropractic. And what we're helping to do there is pull back the curtain to show folks what chiropractic is all about because as readers will discover, there's a kind of somewhat of a mystery about chiropractic, but a lot of misconceptions. And, I agree with that. 100%. Yeah, and, and you'll, you'll find out after reading this how you could really be helped. And in fact, chiropractic is is kind of a, a hidden gem as far as the health industry goes. After interviewing the chiropractors that we've been working with, uh, I've learned quite a few things that I didn't know. And I have to say that I've, I've used chiropractic quite a bit, but I'm going to be using it more and more because it's, it's a fascinating field and, and – they help people way more than what you would think. Yeah, I've uh, I've, I've witnessed that as well, and I know quite a few chiropractors in my area, 
and some of the things that they they can help you with is absolutely uh, incredible. For an example, I know one of them that really specializes in in, in concussions and migraine headaches, um, and is the chiropractor for a team ice hockey team, and uh, has done just magnificent work for for people where they're getting hit, the kids and, and that kind of thing. So, what is what is it that you're looking for? F- as far as an outcome, what are you trying to achieve by doing this, Andy? Well, we're trying to get information out there to, to people who need to know these things, and we're trying to make it easily accessible. We want to help them make decisions like the Now What books. As these people are, are facing some kind of problem, we're trying to to alleviate that problem and, and, and get people help because, you know, like, like on the, on the – um, criminal lawyer one of the now what book you, you just don't know who to call if, if all of a sudden you're facing a legal crisis who would you call what would you ask how would you know what the right thing is to ask and right. I, and, and like in the front of the book it there's a kind of, it summarizes really what we had learned from all the interviews and there are two things in there that would shock you that people don't understand if they're facing a criminal charge, whether or not they did it. And I'll go ahead and reveal one of them, but I won't reveal them all. But <laughs> but the number one thing you should do, whether or not you did the crime, is you don't say anything. All of the attorneys we talked to said people screw up their cases because they talk to the police. And to take that a step further, if you were being interviewed by the police and they kept saying to you, come on, just tell us what's happened. It will all be over with. We'll be friends. You can go home and everything's cool. And that's a technique. They're trying to get you to spill the beans even if you didn't do it. Right. And so all you say is, I want to talk to my lawyer. You just keep saying that's all you say. Whether or not you did it, that's all you say. And especially if you didn't do it, that's really all you want to say. Because I talked to some attorneys who said that you you can implicate yourself even if you weren't even there. It's it's crazy. And so, you know, you asked the question, what's the outcome to help you achieve? There's a perfect example. I'm trying to help people mm-hmm. make their lives better, basically. Right. So what kind of obstacles and misconceptions are there, you know, that come about? When trying to achieve this outcome, that's that's a good question. Some of the obstacles, you know, getting getting the books out there in the right hands to people because there's a lot of information out there and a lot of misinformation, and that's why we we interview experts because these are the people who are in the trenches doing this kind of thing. And if people are looking things up on the line, you'll see a lot of misinformation or, or things that are not quite right or perhaps uh, they don't work in this time period now, that kind of thing. So um, in like the chiropractic thing, there, there's a, you'd be surprised how many misconceptions there are about chiropractic after speaking to a lot of the doctors. And uh, one, for instance, is people – uh, tend to think that, well, I'm not going to go to chiropractor because once I do, I always have to keep going back and I can't afford that or whatever. And that's that's not true. Right. And so those those are the types of obstacles that um, we're trying to help people with so they can live a better life, basically. So what steps are you taking or is your company taking to help achieve this outcome? Well, we are interviewing, like I said, experts. We're, we're doing the research to find out who is an advocate for their customer, for their patient or whatever. And then we contact them and we say, we're, we're doing this book. This is what it's about. And we'd like you to participate. And here's why. And then um, f- for the books that we're donating the charity to, the charity uh, retail profits to, we – are covering the costs of the the book design cover, which can be very expensive, the editing, the proofreading, the formatting, the marketing, and the PR. 
you know, there's a there's a website. Uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Maybe it'll come to me here in a minute. But they explain what it costs to come up with a book and and create all that and put it out. And Thousands what, of dollars. What? Yeah. What? What would be your guess that the low end is to do that? Do you know? I would guess on the low end. You know, really depends. I'm guessing on the size of the book, but and, and really what's involved in preparing the book, whether it's one person story uh, and writing that book. But I know it takes a lot of time to number one get the content, um, and number two, like you said, the book cover, the publishing, and and what formats and and all the other things that go along with it. So my guess would be on the low end, I'm going to say three, four, five thousand dollars on the low end, and probably ten to fifteen on the high end. You know, that's actually a very good guess. The, the website, it, I just now remembered, it's called mediashift.com. Okay. And if you go there and look at that, they even say right there, the low end for editing alone is 3300 bucks just for editing. And it, with cover designs, formatting, marketing, distribution, if you combine all that, just the low end expense alone is $4,000. And the high end can be uh, ten to 20000 even. So – Naturally, yeah. you know, your your next question may be, well, how can you do, you know, cover that kind of expense and donate the retail profits? And the answer to that is this helps us get more of our information out there, which brings in more clients. And I don't have time to explain that process, but that's why we do it. Well, besides helping the charities, too, because it's, it's right. just the right thing to do. Yeah, it's a great uh, – it's a great – take on the whole the whole thing is, is the donation to the charity, which I think is absolutely incredible. Um, and it's a great way for I guess all your participants in the book to you know, they're in turn supporting that, that charity as well. Is that correct? Yes. Um, that That's a good thing I forgot to mention. I'm glad you pointed that out because what we're doing is because we got a lot of skin in the game here for the, for the charities. And so we ask the participants to buy 30 books at our uh, publisher wholesale cost because we want them to hand them out to uh, friends and family and like like to chiropractors. We'd like them to hand them out to patients, friends and family, and whoever else because that helps us get the word out. And, right. and you know, we've got a lot of skin in the game, and, and that will help them get skin in the game. But, but also um, – but that helps them quite a bit too because it's it turns out it's a pretty good marketing tool as well. Right. Yeah, because they're included in the book and they're given advice. So that, that is – it's a great marketing tool for them. Definitely. So how can people find out more if they want to learn more about uh, your projects as well as Seven Falls Publishing? That's a great question. Thank you for asking that. They can call us at 719 375 Two two nine five. They can also email us at sevenfallspublishing at gmail dot com, and that can be the uh, word seven s e v e n or the number seven. We've we use both emails. Okay. And we have a website called sevenfallspublishing dot com. Currently, it is under construction. So hopefully, by the time uh, people hear this, that it will be ready, and if not, why I'm going to have to crack the whip on the web designer. <laughs> but um, that's that's how people get a hold of us. Great. So there you have it, folks. You just heard from publisher Andy Curry of Seven Falls Publishing, publicly stating that his company is donating the re- donating the retail profits of several of their book series to charity, and how they are able to pull it off and remain strong in business. Andy, thanks again for your time. We really appreciate you uh, taking time out of your schedule to. Tell us more about Seven Falls Publishing and and your charity work. Tim, thank you so much. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.